I will show you here how we can upload a uh, reset firmware to the rack 4631 with block core so that we can refresh the firmware the mistastic firmware on it and then upload a new one so after downloading the mistastic firmware we need to upload this mistastic nrf52 factory reset uh, to do that we need to connect our mistastic board and then open the device manager uh, we need to double click reset after double clicking there would be a new drive that will show this one the rock 4631 so we will just drag factory reset firmware here okay so after dragging we will see that it will reset and then you will be able to check the com port number we will use uh, something like a serial terminal software for this one i'm using potty so let's click serial and then put the serial number so it's 18 and let's try to connect when you connect on it, you will see Meshtastic NRF52 Factory Restore. Press any key to continue to erase and factory restore your NRF52. So we'll just need to click here, then enter. Then it will be, it will restart, and then it will be on boot mode again. At this point, you can now drag, you can close Putty for now. Then you can now drag the latest firmware. For the rack 4631, so this one. Let's drag it here. And then it will upload the firmware. That one. So this one, we have a new fresh firmware to the to the node. We will see the serial port here again. Then we can connect to to it using potty. We can click serial, then put the com port number then we click open at this point you will see some probes checking what we can do is restart the the node click reset button and then click potty uh, click the connection immediately in potty so we can check the whole of the logs from the beginning so let's close this first let's uh, open potty again let's go let's click serial then let's put com 18 for the serial we have to set uh, you can copy this configuration so let's go back to session click serial and then we prepare the the code the the com port number so this is com 18 let's click reset on the node and then after refreshing we can now click open immediately if we click open after that reset you will be able to see all the logs so we will be able to see all the stuff that are here and if it was able to detect uh anything like some the gps the battery level um the i any kind of i2c device let's we can check it here let's go on top if you look at on top, you will see that no I2C device is found. So because no I2C device is connected, if there are I2C device connected like sensors or OLED display, it should be here. Uh, yeah, so basically this is the logs that you can you can check. You can copy this and then maybe 